Metro Manila as a whole is uh, very crowded. Our coverage for the sanitation services is um, quite a bit low, but we're moving fast on doing our expansion. There has been discussion with the government as well as with the concessioner on how to implement a sanitation program for Metro Manila. When we talk about sanitation, we're talking about a combined system, we're talking about separate system, and we're talking about the sludging of septic tanks. Most of these houses in Metro Manila were built in the, in the 60s and the 50s. And coupled with the flooding right now, most of their septic tanks are now uh, filled up, it stinks, and that's why they need the, the sludge. yung aming homeowners ay napaka-active. So sila yung nag schedule nakikipag-arrange, kumokontakt, siphoning ng mga septic tank. Tapos pagka dumating na yung uh, sa Maynila, kakatok lang, and then itatanong kung willing magpa-siphon. So yun ang ginagawa lamang at uh, meron lang isasign na isang papel. Tapos okay na lahat, ganun lang. These canals are the storm drains, but when it overflow to the streets, you would have the potential contamination of the land, contamination of the groundwater, and people might be affected by pathogenic microorganisms. From the canals, well, from the septic tanks, you go to the creeks, the tributaries of the river, and ends up to Manila Bay. So the strategy on uh, really uh, maximizing or uh, expanding our service coverage faster is through the implementation of the combined sewer drainage system approach. With this, we lessen our works on doing conveyance systems, making a faster economic and uh, environmental impact. It needs collaboration with a local government unit for, for the combined system approach to work. This would maximize septic tanks as the primary treatment for the wastewater. Basically, all used water coming from households goes directly to the drainage system of a certain community. An interceptor box diverts the flow from the drainage to our pipe, eventually leading it to the STP or our sewage treatment plant. Uh, Olandes STP is part of the combined sewer drainage system approach We further maximize the space by putting the plant underground and making the ground space available for recreational activities. We're challenged by the space. So we have to use technologies which are um, in terms of cost, in terms of power, much higher than the normal convention, conventional biological treatment. And you know that for wastewater treatment, the new requirement by the government in the, on the biological nitrogen removal, this is now another challenge to us because we have now to retrofit our facilities to be able to treat these biological nutrients. Our type of process is a sequencing batch reactor. Microorganisms present in the SBR consumes the organics present in the wastewater stream. An SBR is a, a one of the technologies in used water treatment system that um, reduces land or footprint and at the same time be an effective uh, system for treatment of used water. So the collected septage is being accepted here at the, at the plant. In the dewatering process, we have two byproducts. The first is the filtrate. The filtrate is being mixed to the incoming sewage. And the other byproduct is the biosolids. The biosolids here is being given to, to a third-party contractor. The third-party contractor mixes this as a soil conditioner. We converted the septage into biosolids, and they used to, to fertilize um, crops like sugarcane, mango, 
and then some of them have been using it for vermiculture. We're also using our waste, uh, treated wastewater for the cleanup of our facilities. We can turn this waste into asset. It's the only way that we can say that the works that we'll be doing would, be, uh, would have its maximum impact, both for the government as well as for the consumers. If we already have these central systems, but we do not address uh, the problem of toilet access, there's a sort of disconnect in terms of providing the service. So the Manila Water Foundation augments the initiatives of the company by implementing projects such as this community toilet. This improves their quality of life by providing privacy, convenience, and of course, it provides them a sanitary option. So this ensures the prevention of human contact to fecal matter, which is a common uh, experience, especially before when uh, they do not have any facility to use. Dati po kasi nung wala po yung banyo namin dyan na community, lahat po ng bata po marami pong nagkakasakit. Marami nagkakaroon ng bulate, may sumusupa ng bulate, may tumatae ng bulate. Kalat-kalat pati ang mga dumi po dyan sa kalsada. Uh, kung saan-saan po kami nagsi-CR, nagsi-CR po kami sa Arinola lang, tinatapon po namin sa ilog. Mga tao rito sa Sambuena, simula po nagkaroon ng community toilet at tubig dyan, uh, natuto po silang maligo, natuto po silang maging malinis, ng maayos. Ikumpara e mo dati na naliligo kami sa gitna ng kalsada na may saplot kami, hindi po kami nakakapaghilod, naghihilod man kami. There's no one solution that would fit all and address all the problems of the community. So we have a community toilet such as this in San Buena. We're looking at communal septic tanks. Um, we're also looking at and studying um, portable toilets, especially for urban settings. We have to take the consideration of the people involved. We have to consider them as part of the project, as not as the recipient of the project, but we have to feel that they would be part of the project from the start. One of the lessons that we learned is that when doing sanitation services, it's all about giving them the right information. It's a simple message that what we do right now will benefit our future.